Hey Sans, welcome back to another test. So I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is you get another test. Yay, the bad news is, is that I ran into some difficulties. So I'll get into that. So request another test. So we got Raditz here again. This is more of a B1 build trying to copy off some Kid Gohan I see. So he's got uh, keep power up plus one. Dragon Spirit, Secret Measures, and ri Rising Fighting Spirit on Majin Buu AI. And second costume. And then this is the problem that I ran into. I do not have the ability to put on infinite Pataras. Uh, DMZ didn't give me that ability, so I do not have the ability to put defense plus three, attack minus one. So I decided to go with defense two. So it's the best I could do for you guys. I apologize. So uh, if you want to go ahead and do a request, uh, redo request for uh, this build to DMZ uh, you can go ahead but I apologize I he, he never gave it to me so I'm sorry but uh, we got defense plus two Dende's healing latent energy and power rage definitely a defense build and costume one and we're just gonna see how this plays out so I feel feel really bad but there's really nothing I can do about it so I, I, I you know I did the best of my abilities and decided you know what maybe we should go ahead and just do the defense plus two maybe that would be as fine as well so uh, let's go ahead and talk. So the B1 build uh, starts off with uh, with Rising Fighting Spirit and uh, and his B1s are Sand Soul, which uh, kind of give him the brick wall effect that actually regularizes uh, your thing. And also uh, he also has a full power. Uh, I can definitely see where you're coming from with the with the max, well you know with the with the B1 build. Uh, it's kind of like a kid Gohan. The thing is, the uh, kind of worried about his charge rate, which we'll definitely see here. Is that uh, you got to take into consideration is that if he goes into you know his full power does a B2, will his charge rate be okay? Uh, most of the time, uh, a B1 player has a key plus two, uh, super minus one. So uh, maybe you might want to take that into consideration if you're thinking about going with this build. Uh, secret measures, uh, of course. Oh, we got a clash here. Uh, he did have power of rage. <laughs> uh, secret measures. Uh, it's kind of a kind of feels like kind of a waste, you know. Uh, you're using three points, and then you also have a negative. When uh, you might as well just uh, go with uh, Kabito secret art. You know, he doesn't have to be an opener. You know, and that means that you also can save points on rising fighting spirit. So, uh, you know, definitely when a uh, when a B a B one is not an opener. It's like it's like Kid Gohan. He's not an opener. So, you know. See, the, the, the charge rate is kind of eh. You know, you might want to go ahead and kick that up to uh, maybe uh, key plus two, super minus one. Uh, maybe uh, uh, put down uh, rise, uh, secret measures down to Capito, secret art, have him come out second. Uh, then you know he'll be full, and then you can you don't have to have rising fighting spirit, and then you can toss on maybe uh you know maybe uh, launch support you know maybe then he can have key plus three. You might want to see that, so if you want to request a test of that, you can go ahead, but, uh, spam build beats a crap out of defense build, you know. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do a redo. I've just been so talking about the B1 build that I really haven't addressed anything on the defense build. Like I said, uh, you know, maybe taking advantage of the full force of it. Uh, you probably, you guys are just probably just doing it for this test, but, uh, you're probably, you know, considering, you know, tagging in with the Tabito Secret Art. But you're probably just going for the test to see how he does. The defense bleeding out this time. He's about a bar ahead. Still at full health. So yeah, you're just doing it for this test up. Oh, top class warrior connects. So this is just some suggestions, you know. Uh, you know I'm totally willing to give you guys some suggestions. All right, he goes to max power. Uh, what's his ultimate again? Is it? I uh, I think it's be gone. I think I can't remember. The defense goes showing why he's still strong, you know. Uh, Raditz, like I said, I definitely think he's a melee character. And, uh, you know, uh, don't worry. I know you, I saw your little comment at the end that you would like to get a request for the winner between this video and the previous video. So, whoever wins this video will be facing the melee build of Raditz. And uh, I will have that up for you guys as well. So, uh, Sans are winning. Sans have requested the most test out of anybody. It's, it's pretty much now it's like... Five videos for Sans, uh, one for Boo, one for Ginyu, and none from Blade so far. Or maybe Blade's taking a break, but defense build? 
being impressive this time. Here's a present. Uh, oh, ooh, I, I thought maybe it wouldn't have connected because it just went to max power. It, it kind of did, kind of did, you know. I just, I just, I definitely just see Raditz as a melee, as a melee character. Beautiful melee combo from a uh, defense build. And uh, grabbing it's over, so we're going to round three. You know, I either see him as a melee build or a uh, or a defense build. The the thing with the with the B1 build is that to you know really utilize the full potential of the B1 build and what makes uh, Kid Gohan so well with it is that he has that after image strike. You know that the, that ability to go ahead and dodge out of the way of 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 attacks and stuff, but just using his blast stocks. That's what makes him. Uh, Powerful. You know, Raditz really doesn't have that. You know, all he has is a kind of power up B1 and then a full power one. It's not really something you should really be utilizing to the full potential of B1. Uh, so far, it's just been an impressive melee game, but I already said that Raditz was pretty impressive when it came to melee. So, uh, you know, I definitely think that you take that into consideration. And then, uh, you know, if he's a great melee and he can survive long enough, uh, maybe go ahead and go with a defense build like a tambourine of previous of season five. Maybe that will work too. You know, it's always good to have a secondary build. You know, I just really don't see him as B2, and I really don't see him as a. I see him getting hit by a freaking B2. I really don't see him as a B2 or really a B1. -er, so yeah, just seems like kind of like a I want to punch you in the face kind of guy, and it sure seems like it. Both of them are just punching each other in the face. Defense build goes to uh, full power, max power. He goes to full. There's a difference between max power and full power. It's called full power the B1, but it, it, it was max power. Oh, tried to do San Sol, get grabbed right out of it. Top class warrior. Uh, no, does not make it in time. But he's on the ball, just grabs him again. That charge rate is terrible. That's another thing is that uh, you know you kind of want him to be so aggressive with it that he really doesn't care about his charge rate being kind of crappy. It's, yeah. So, uh, defense build one. So I hope that this video was helpful and don't worry, I saw your little request. So there will be another video going up between the melee build and the defense build. So look forward to that. Try to get that video to you guys as soon as possible. So once again, thank you guys for uh, watching this video and I am looking forward to uh, your next text test request. Thanks for watching.